Why so many people leave the church? Why so many people are not in love with Jesus anymore? I try to answer the question. And the answer that I have would be rootless Christianity. People accepted Jesus as their personal Savior, but they're not committed to change everything in their life. It is like a baby tooth. It looks good, but it's not strong enough for the rest of their life. So what happened? People are calling upon the Lord, but they're not committed. It's like a tree. It could be a growing, good-looking tree, but the most important part is not what you see. The most important part would be roots. Actually, source of life for the tree is something that other people don't see. We don't see roots, but roots are providing nourishment for the whole tree. Not only nourishment, but they also provide a uh, like a foundation against the winds against any kind of hardships that a tree can encounter so what are the roots in our lives i would say in the christian lives i could i i could say that there's at least three roots that i could call one of those roots would be prayer I would call it a true prayer and a true prayer is something between you and God something that others do not see but something that God and you know so the true prayer would be something that you connected with God something that brings you life something that brings you forgiveness something that brings you healing something that brings you joy and happiness do you have a prayer life as you should do you pray enough in your life is that something that you run for is that something that you wish for is that something that you i mean something the most desirable to you or that's something like a habit that you need to pray once in a while, you know, before bed, before before lunch or something like that. Just, just say a prayer. Is that just to say a prayer? Or is that to talk to someone that you love with all of your heart, all of your soul? What does prayer mean to you? I mean, if you're going to check your own life you will recognize and you would see and you would see how big how deep are those roots do you wake up at night and start praying when you could not fall into sleep do you pray when you drive the car do you pray when you just thinking about something you want to do something do you pray enough so one of those roots of prayer it is very, very important root to have in your life. The second root that I would say would be reading the Bible. So the way you treat the Bible shows how deeply you, you're in love with the one who wrote it, who brought it to you. So if you, if you received a letter from a loved one, how do you treat it? you live it on open no i don't believe so i mean if you love that person really really much i mean you would ne you would never leave it on un open you would read it once you would read it twice you you would repeatedly read it until you remember what what does the law one told you so same thing with the word of god you keep on reading it and reading it so you would so your memory is filled with verses so you would know exactly what's what is Jesus telling you 
what he wants you to do. And the third route would be to walk in the Spirit. To know exactly what the Holy Spirit guiding you to. To know exactly what the Holy Spirit is leading you to. Maybe help someone. Maybe do something special for the kingdom of God. You would need to know what is His voice and have to listen to it. And in order to know His voice, you need to stay in prayer. You need to stay in the Word of God. So those are three roots that I found for myself very important for the life of every Christian or everyone who, you know, calls himself a Christian. And if you want to be rooted in Christ, those are the things you need to check in your life and make sure that you have a nice, good roots. You know, usually we have we have a branch system pretty good, you know. Branch system are that, you know, the stuff that people see, stuff that people could recognize, stuff that we could, that we talk about to other people, stuff, you know, maybe singing, maybe preaching, maybe some other stuff. That's only a branch system. Root system. Root system is something more important even than a branch system. And the reason why? Because root system provides you nourishment. So if you want to be nourished, if you want to live a whole life, you know, with Jesus, not just, uh, not just, not just the outside appearance of being Christian, but being fully motivated by the Word of God, motivated by the love to God, you need to have a nice big roots. And the Word of God actually tells us about it in the Colossians second chapter verse 6 therefore as you received Christ Jesus the Lord so walk in him rooted and built up in him and established in the faith I wish that every one of us would be rooted in our Jesus Christ that our roots would be big and thick that they would provide a lot of nourishment that they will provide a lot of protection against, against winds of temptation, against hardships and troubles in our lives. Be rooted in Christ. Fall in love with Him. Stay with Him. Live for Him. Stay with Him for the rest of your life. Make your roots so big and so thick that they would pass through this life to the eternity. And God bless you in that. Amen.